welcome to uh, the preview of what the clock tower square is going to look like. It's, uh, it's a culmination of years and years of, of development for our Dover Western Docks Revival Program. We're looking forward to opening this up properly and creating some wonderful public realm space for the community to enjoy. It's over a thousand square meters of space that we're going to be providing to the community, complete with heritage artifacts returned to it and a lot of really good open space. So we've thought uh, a lot about what the best possible way in which we can pay tribute to the old Prince of Wales Pier, whilst also creating something modern and contemporary for people to enjoy and make certain that the amenities are there. We specifically thought about making certain there was sufficient seating for people, benches along the curves so people can sit and enjoy the new marina. We've also invested in some new marina ablution blocks for our berth holders. Uh, and indeed, we'll have some public toilets here so that we provide those facilities for the general community as well. The, the public realm area here is um all the heritage items that were removed off of the original masonry Prince of Wales Pier, they were taken off in the, in the previous stage of the project and have been put in storage until now. And we've, we've had a lot of those items refurbished and then put back onto the, onto the clock tower square. I think it's very important. The, the Prince of Wales Pier has been, has been part of the port for over 100 years. It's great to be able to share those items with the, with the public once again, once the, once the area is back open. It's been a, a large part of my career so far and I've, I've, I'm very proud of what we've delivered so far, absolutely. Um, and I hope people come and, come and enjoy the space that we've created and, 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 and feel some of the pride that the port feel about it. We wanted to pay tribute to the port's uh, heritage and history. Um, there's a lot of history behind the port and the project and what's happened in this area. So a lot of the items that we've um, dismantled on the old Prince of Wales Pier, we wanted to incorporate into the works in the new development. So things like the, the lampposts have been refurbished and set in here, the cobblestones which are laid out to depict the line of the old Prince of Wales Pier, the cobblestones off the old quay sides were refurbished, they've been put into the scheme and used as benches, and as you see behind me, the gates have been uh, restored, which used to be on the old Prince of Wales Pier. Now they've been positioned on the point where they were in the original location on the old pier and incorporated into the works to replicate that with the heritage stone going through the middle. We wanted to something that was modern and new, uh, but at the same time, bring part of the old heritage into that and incorporate it and try to merge the two together and create a nice big new modern, clean, open space with a bit of historical aspects to it as well. Um, the main challenges we faced here in Clock Tower Square has been sort of sympathetically um, reincorporating the reclaimed um, artefacts um, from the pier, the granite, the mooring bollards and lamp posts back into the realm in a sort of modern and sort of way that people can enjoy and you know see them sort of appreciated for the future. So SQL is a way for the project to uh, manage the sustainability of the work that we're doing. It monitors um, key uh, criteria such as ecology and environment, um, the historic environment, um, engagement with peoples and community, and looks to celebrate you know, the, good, the good work done and the achievement of the project team. On this project, we've been able to achieve the highest score possible of excellent, you know, which is a uh, sort of just reward for the efforts put in by everybody in making this a sustainable project for the future. So I started in September 14, which was nearly seven years ago. Um, obviously, this this package of work what we're standing here in today has only been in the last couple of years. But prior to that, I was involved in all the marine works, the marina itself, the land reclamation. Uh, so I've, I really have seen it from the very beginning where it, it was the lines on a bit of paper right up to the present day where it's, you know, we're standing here, it's in a, a new built infrastructure and facility. And, and for me really it's about saying, uh, providing this facility both for the port in terms of the infrastructure requirements and the port requirements, but also then this element here being a public realm space. Um, so it's great, to, it's great to see that, you know, being provided for the local community. My, my hope is that is that you know after the horrible year that we've had with the COVID, is that people will be able to come down and enjoy themselves here, uh, like they were, were able to do in the past. We're also taking the opportunity to to prepare our, our beach, our seafront, for welcoming visitors down to the seafront. We're doing that right now. We've had the marina pier open, and all of this is about trying to put something back into the community that that will enable people to come out in the open space, enjoy themselves, and, and get a bit of relief from the, from the dire year that we've just had. Yeah, over the past couple of weeks, what we've been doing is, is nearing completion and getting a lot of the works done. We've taken the hoarding around so people can walk by and see what's actually here now. 
uh, very soon that fencing will come down. In early June, we're going to open up the pier proper, and then it's going to be entirely open for, for everybody to come down and enjoy, and we hope people do.